Hey guys, so this video is going to be on how to change a 2008 Honda CBR 600RR oil. Alright guys, so I know that the fairings are all off the bike already and the exhaust is off too. I'm currently in the process of upgrading my exhaust. But I just wanted to kind of show you because I figured this would be a great time for me to film everything. If you don't know how to take the fairings off, uh, there's other videos on how to do that. This is simply just to show you where to put the wrench on to do the oil. Maybe if you've never done an oil change before. This might give you some information on how to do it. So let's go over some of the things you're gonna need. I use Rotella T6 oil, 5W40. Uh, it's heavy diesel, uh, heavy, it's synthetic heavy duty diesel engine oil. It works fine, do some research, it's great oil. I've been using it for years, not a single problem. And it's only about 20 bucks a whole gallon. I'm also using a k and 204 oil filter. I've heard bad things about k and over the years, but you know what, I've been using it and I've had no issues and it's always readily available and easy to get to. I really like how there's a nut welded onto it. You can see right there, Here, let me turn this light on. See that nut welded onto it? That makes it so much easier to take the oil filter off. You're also gonna need a drain pan and a funnel. And you're also gonna need some gloves and a bunch of rags. A, if you're using a K&N filter, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket. And you're also gonna need a 12 millimeter for the drain bolt. All right, so I know that the headers are off. Usually when the headers are off, you're gonna need to pull the rear tire off the ground. You're gonna need to also put some tin foil on here. I have videos showing me doing that. All right, so my bike is ice cold right now. It's about 35 degrees outside. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer than it will probably for you. Usually when you run your bike for 10 minutes and then do this, help the oil flow quicker, but my bike doesn't have an exhaust on it and because of that, I don't wanna start it. So I'm just gonna do the oil now. You're gonna take your 12 millimeter socket, keep it on loosen, put it right on this bolt. This is your drain bolt. Put that right there and Okay, there you go, you just crack that. Alright, now as you can see, that's flowing pretty slowly. So people ask, when's a good time to do your oil? And usually I say, go by the manual. However, the manual says do it every 8,000 miles after the initial 600 mile break-in. I don't think that's a good thing. I think that you should do it every 3,000 miles or twice a year. I do it twice a year, 3,000 miles, whichever comes first. Usually I do it in the end of the year, in the beginning of the year, um, but that's what it kind of ends up doing. Everybody has a different oil thing. Um, this is just what I do. You can take it with a grain of salt. You could take it as the Bible. I really don't care. This is just how I do it. So again, because the bike's cold, this is gonna take a long time. In fact, I'm gonna walk away from this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and then it should be pretty much good to go. All right, so we're gonna, this is still going, but I wanna get this off now. This is the oil filter. It has the nut on it. I'm gonna try to take it off by hand first, but I did tighten it with the nut a little bit, so I think I'm gonna have to use the 17 millimeter socket. But real quick, I'm gonna try by hand first. Now I'm gonna try by hand, but I don't think it'll work. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. We got our 17 millimeter socket and doing it by hand. It's wicked. It's really tough. So I'm just going to use this. Put that right on there like this. And you crack it. Crack it off. Now you want to lift up your sleeve. Don't want to get my jacket all oily. So now once that's um, loosened with the wrench, you can just take it by hand. And you can see the oil's already dripping down. Now again, if you had headers, the headers would go underneath here and oil would get all over them. So here's the oil dr uh, dropping right there. You can see it dripping all out. Now again, my engine is cold, so it's going to take a while for all the oil to get out. I'm gonna leave it for, I would say about 10 minutes. Now that this is pretty much drained out, uh, again, if you don't have rear stands, then you might need to pick the bike up a few times to keep it level to drain the oil. I did that off camera. So you're gonna take the new filter, and before you actually take the new filter, you're going to look at the old filter and make sure that the old gasket is off. And you can see the rubber gaskets right here and that's off, so you know that's good. Because sometimes 
I know it can happen with car filters. It's never happened to me with a bike, but it can happen. Is that the old gasket can stay on the engine, and you put the new one on, it can actually cause a leak. But it's very rare. Um, so here you are with the new oil filter. You just want to kind of inspect it real quick. You want to make sure that the it has a seal on it, and that there's no dents or holes in it. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel this paper off. And we're going to look at the filter, look in the inside, make sure there's nothing weird in there. Everything looks pretty good. I noticed with K&N that you can sometimes see the glue at the bottom. Uh, it's not a big deal. I've never had an issue with it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to install the new filter. But before you do that, you're going to take some of this old oil from the filter and you're going to go ahead and go around the rim of the gasket. You're going to do the rim of the gasket. And you're also going to do inside the threads here. Just take a little bit. Put on the threads. Some people go as far as filling the oil, it, the filter with oil ahead of time, but I think that's unnecessary. And also, it can make a huge mess. And because the filter's mounted to the side, it usually spills all out. If it mounts up like this, then you can get away with doing that. I've actually done it a few times, but not with this particular engine have I ever even tried it. So you're gonna take that, coat it with oil. All right, so I got this different angle so you can see. Here's the threads in there. And all you want to do is you want to take your filter and you want to go ahead and place it on there and hand tighten it. It should just spin right on. Actually, there's a little bit of oil on my hands, so it's going on the filter and making it hard to spin. So you go ahead and just do that. And you're going to get it about as tight as you can, hand tightening it. And what I do. And this is controversial, so you do your own research and decide what you want to do. Um, but I go ahead and I put the socket on and I turn it a quarter of a turn. Now some people say that that causes a leak right here. Never happened to me, so this is what I do. But again, your mileage may vary. You do what you do want to do, this is at your own risk. I'm going to do this, I know this controversy. Do some research. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And I'm on Titan, and I'm just going to Tighten it up that much, half a turn. And now when I try to take it off by hand, I can't, it's too tight. You don't need to go crazy, it's, it's an oil filter, it'll be fine. And that's all you gotta do. So now you're gonna take the old drain bolt, you can coat the threads with oil if you want. Uh, there is a washer on here, they say to replace it. I never do, I just leave it on there. But here's the hole right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and thread this in by hand. Now you're gonna take your 12 millimeter, and you gotta be really careful. If you strip this bolt, you are gonna have a big problem. Take your wrench, put it right on there, and you're just going to turn it until it gets tight. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna add the oil. I got my Rotella T6 here. You can use Mobile One 4T racing oil. I used to use that, but it's 10 bucks a quart. So you're looking at $30 versus $20. So if the 10 bucks is worth it to you, you can do that. To me, this is perfectly good stuff. I'm gonna use this. So here we, it comes with, um, this is one gallon. There's four quarts in a gallon, and this takes three quarts. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go right there to the three mark. And remember, this is liters on this side, quarts on this side. It already has four, so you wanna make sure that you enter enough in until it hits one quart remaining at the bottom there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take off our oil cap, the oil filler cap. Should just be hand tightened on, pull it off. All right, guys, so you're just going to fill the oil up. It's three quarts. Uh, once you have it filled up, you're going to want to check the level. It's going to show it reading really high. That's because you got to start the engine. Once you start the engine, it'll pull the oil down to where it should be. Well, you'll have to start it running for a few minutes, then let it sit for a couple minutes. And once it gets cold, it'll go return to the right line. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, I'll not be able to start the bike for you because the exhaust is off, and I want to make sure the exhaust is on. Um, but yeah, the, the video is over. I hope you guys learned something and I hope this helps somebody out. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you all have a good one. Take care and bye bye.